Meanwhile, Seoul's defense ministry has confirmed that Friday's missile launched by North Korea was a Hwasong-12 intermediate range missile. Our Kwon Jung-ho takes a look at what this means for the regime's nuclear weapons development. South Korea's defense ministry released the details of their analysis of North Korea's latest missile test last Friday. The ministry said that after looking at the missile's height, distance, speed and flight time with their U.S. counterparts, they could conclude that it was a Hwasong-12 intermediate range rocket. They added that if flown on a normal trajectory, it could reach the U.S. military bases of Guam in the Western Pacific. Through this latest test, North Korea has clearly shown that they can now hit Guam. The island is 3,500 kilometers away, but the latest Hwasong-12 has shown it can fly 200 kilometers further. North Korea needs weapons that can target Japan, Guam and the U.S. mainland to show that they are prepared for a war with not just South Korea, but with those allies as well. The defense ministry also warned that the regime is in the final stages of completing a fully operational intercontinental ballistic missile, one which could reach the U.S. mainland and successfully re-enter the atmosphere. Experts agree with this analysis. The only thing left is to make sure the Hwasong-14 can fly on a normal trajectory to make sure it can reach a height of over 1,500 kilometers and travel 9,000 kilometers. At the moment, we reckon the technology related to accuracy is at about where the U.S. and Russia were 30 years ago. However, with more missile tests possibly on the way, North Korea is expected to catch up quickly. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.